Hi, welcome to Just Thinking Out Loud. Uh, God damn it, I messed up and I haven't even started yet. Oh my God, what am I doing? Hi, welcome to Just Thinking Out Loud. My name is Desiree. If you've been on mostly Twitter lately, you have seen that Gab CEO Andrew Torba is vehemently against having porn on a free speech social network. I only saw that a few people had made videos on it and I spent some time thinking about the topic because I thought it was kind of a difficult question to answer. Is porn free speech and should it be allowed well not the first question that one isn't as difficult to answer but the second one should it be allowed on social media platforms so i spent some time thinking about it and i'm going to get into it as you may know i am a fan of gab i've talked about how to install it on your iPhone even though it's banned honestly I haven't been able to keep up with it because my solution stopped working but I hope to get it working again uh, it just needed to be more convenient and then I would use it a lot more I mostly just use it to post my own content now and again and I don't spend enough time actually using interacting with it only because it's banned so much and there's a lot of content on there that isn't great I have the dissenter browser and like there's some pretty shitty comments out there but there is also the principle of the matter and there's not only that kind of content out there so the point I'm trying to make is that I am a fan um, of Gab but maybe they might be getting themselves in a bit of trouble here seeing as they're a free speech platform but they're trying to censor porn so I thought that this question was interesting and difficult to answer because porn isn't just about self-expression but it has a lot of legal precedents that are behind it about how it's manufactured and how it's distributed that are completely separate from whether or not it's quote unquote free speech. So when porn is shared online, those conditions about whether or not it's legal and whether or not it should be being shared, those have to be already in place. And that's difficult to do on social media. So that's a big distinction I want to make. Now, we should probably start by defining what porn is. And porn is defined as the depiction of erotic behavior, as in pictures or writing, intended to cause sexual excitement. This is from Merriam Webster. And I would highlight that it's intended to cause sexual excitement. I'll get into that in a bit. And then another thing we want to define is what is free speech? So free speech, I learned this a couple of weeks ago, can actually be defined or broken down into either pure speech or symbolic speech. So pure speech is protected to the highest level in the uh, First Amendment to the United States Constitution because it was explicitly stated in the First Amendment or in the original draft for the First Amendment. Pure speech refers to written or spoken word and symbolic speech refers to behavior or actions that convey a message. So I would say that porn clearly comes under free speech, specifically under symbolic speech when you take that definition. So I can actually answer that question immediately. Is porn free speech? Yes, it is free speech. It's a form of self-expression. And to some degree, it would be protected under the First Amendment as symbolic speech. But, Porn isn't like every other kind of free speech. And that's why everyone's getting angry at Andrew. And I've personally decided that I just want to be able to avoid it. I wouldn't want to ban it. I don't want to ban uh, sex workers or people who share that kind of content online. Even if I might not agree with it, or if I knew some of the backstory, I wouldn't be interested in it. I mean, I'm not really interested in it. For the most part anyway but that doesn't mean that i want it off off the platform i wouldn't say that i wouldn't want to ban it and i do think that it's definitely free speech and it should definitely be allowed but the context really matters and is social media the right content for that i think it's up to debate and i don't think it's that strange that torba has an issue against it um but i give you my conclusion my I kind of already said it, but I'll give you my conclusion at the very end. One question to ask is, is the porn that you see in your feed violating some other law? 
Porn already has legal restrictions. Is everyone doing it consensually? Is everyone of the right legal age to participate in the acts? Is there any abuse of some kind involved that would be inadmissible in any circumstance? Sometimes it's not actually obvious the answer to those questions because you're consuming the content online and you don't actually know the source and you don't know the story of the people behind it. But sometimes it is clear who the source is and it is established that everything is legal. So for cases like that, there isn't really a problem there except for possibly the age issue. And then also cases like uh, animation with hentai or other depictions that don't involve real people that could be visual or audio or written that actually all counts as pornography, those problems aren't really there. So when you can verify that the material is legit and it's okay, then there's another issue that goes back to this definition of porn where its intent is to cause sexual excitement. The Wikipedia definition says that it's exclusively meant to cause sexual excitement and the Merriam-Webster definition that I said before, that one implies that it's intended to cause sexual excitement. Is it okay to elicit sexual excitement in people that don't want to have a sexual experience? And are those people able to very quickly opt out? Porn sites exist that are specific to that kind of content because they allow people who want to share it and want to seek it out to meet. So they're already looking for that kind of content. Social media is not necessarily the same kind of place. If you go to a person's profile or if you're searching for a certain hashtag, for example, then maybe that's the case. But a lot of times you're not necessarily looking for pornographic content. And so is it fair for the user to have that reaction elicited in them elicited in them also social media is accessed by kids and adult sexual expression should be interacted with by other adults things can get kind of blurry here because adult generally means 18 plus the legal definition and obviously people can search for things from way before then and then you can get into are they adults are they not and defining that line that's not something i really want to get into here so i won't but in general adult content is for adults and most social media don't ask you what age you are. Well, they ask you when you sign up, but it's still publicly available for anyone to find. I really don't like scrolling through my Twitter feed and stumbling upon porn. It's happened to me a couple of times. I really, really don't like it. And the thing is that Twitter lumps all sensitive content into the same under the same tag. So you have to say that you are okay with seeing sensitive content, but then if you don't want to see something like porn, then you have to exclude yourself from seeing any kind of sensitive content at all. And I might want to see other content. And people can publish what they want. So they don't have to tag what kind of content they're making. They can just post whatever they want. And if it's popular enough or if someone else you follow liked it or someone else you follow retweeted it, then it ends up in your feed. And that's a little bit annoying. I have a suggestion. I'm sure there are flaws with it, but maybe if there was a way to tag porn specifically, that could be useful. It could be useful for assuring that the porn itself is legal and also helping people to avoid it. And another thing is that if porn can be published on a platform, then it should be established that that platform is for adults. I definitely think that. I do think that it's up to parents to influence what their children do, but a platform should be clear that that platform is for adults if it allows porn to be published on it. We can't always close our ears or close our eyes to what we're seeing. It's not always possible, and so that's something to consider. That might be a reason why you don't want to have porn on your platform. And then there's the morality of it, which is definitely the angle that Gab CEO Angie Torba was taking. What is the effect of porn in society? Is it a good thing? In general, I personally think no. I think it's mostly negative. But I don't know if this question is really valid. I'm going to go into it a bit, but I don't know if it's really valid for understanding whether or not porn should be on a free speech platform, provided that the porn itself is not illegal, meaning the standards for the society that are already enshrined in law, because that changes from society to society. It's not just set in stone. But once it's permissible by law, then it would be considered free speech, and I'm not sure morality should really be 
uh, brought into it. Now, I'm not the person who's creating this platform and I might want to be contributing to society through my work and the products and what I put out there so it doesn't align with what I believe and I don't want to help support that. And I get that. But then you're like free speech, but my, your own flavor of free speech, which isn't really free speech. People do many things that are really bad for them. And we as observers can comment on what they're doing and try to dissuade them. But ultimately, it's their choice what they want to do. You can't force people who are actively and voluntarily seeking something out into acting the way you want them to act because you think it's immoral, as long as they're not harming other people. Another thing that I thought of thinking about the morality of it is that for younger individuals, their sexual development can be influenced by what they see I don't think that's good. I think it's unfortunate that for a lot of people, they don't develop their sexual desires organically because of the kind of modern world and the way we are able to share these intimate parts of our experiences with each other. You don't necessarily want that coming from porn. I think, you. I mean, in hindsight, you can't say whether or not you want or don't want something it's already done. But that's something to consider. Like, we don't develop our sexual desires naturally anymore in general at least most of the world that has access to internet because porn the use of porn uh the viewing of porn and interaction with it really drives a lot of internet usage um so there's definitely an effect that's happening in society and i do think that it's up to parents to set those boundaries for their kids and to limit access but for older children uh, and for adults they do have a right to explore their sexuality and they are going to do that so you can be against that but do you really have a right to be you can comment and you can dissuade but it's not really up to you or me i don't think it's crazy to think that by exposing society to the devaluing of sexual encounters that this will negatively influence society and the forming of bonds with other people and ultimately interactions, like the most important interactions that we have with each other and the most intimate ones. I think that's bad to devalue those encounters. I'm also female, so I'm going to be slanted towards that. Strictly biologically speaking, I'm not trying to say that all men are like dogs, I definitely don't think that. But, you know, there's a pattern there in terms of how I will be inclined to view the value of a sexual encounter, literally because I have eggs and men have sperms. Like, don't want to get into it. It's too much detail, but that completely influences how much importance I will place in general for the average woman on a sexual encounter versus the average man. I do think that porn helps to devalue sexual interaction and I do think that that's a bad thing. But you can't stop people from meeting and interacting both in the offline and in the online world provided that it's legal. You can't control people in that way and the value systems and the life experiences that people have with them that will influence how or if they interact with porn that's already established independently of whether or not that porn is being made or distributed and available to that person. And then another thing with the morality issue is that what about the people who are involved with the making of this porn? There isn't really data out there on how many actors and actresses, both genders, because everyone always focuses on the women, are influenced by psychological issues, doing it because they want to or not, it's not clear. I did find some studies and I'll link to them, but they weren't convincing to me of anything except that there isn't enough data out there. We don't know the percentage of people who participate in porn and then later regret it when they're at a different phase in their life because you can't ask people those kinds of questions right when they're in the middle of it, in my opinion. And you don't know if those who are participating in the industry are doing it in the right context moral not just legal context because you don't know what's going on behind the scenes and that's always an issue that i've had with porn that's not like total fantasy that you know someone made up you don't know 
necessarily there are, there is some form that you can know nowadays um if you trust what the person who's making it, the people who are involved in it are saying. Maybe I can discuss these studies in another video. I started going into them and it was a kind of a big topic. If you were interested, I could go into it some more. Some interesting tidbits that I found out were that about two thirds of the women who are involved in porn are lesbians and that the race of porn stars, just women, they didn't really look at men. It almost exactly matches the uh, population, the general population in terms of makeup, which is interesting. I don't know why I thought that it wouldn't be, but uh, it's a almost an exact match. And also about one third of women in the general population were sexually abused as children. That's from a 2012 study. Uh, and that sexual abuse is broadly defined and then a little more than one third of only 177 participants, which is not enough uh, for porn actresses also had that background. Those are just interesting details that if you wanted me to go more into that, I could. The point is that these are all ethical issues with porn and even though there are issues, these judgments on whether or not it's good to allow the access to and support the creation of porn will differ from person to person. There are obscenity laws, but they're really vague. They're not universally enforced and they're just based on the standards of society at a given time. So this part of this debate outside of the established legal restrictions about allowing porn on social media that's dedicated to free speech, it's kind of subjective. This morality issue is different from the free speech issue and we act in the world as individuals. So my morality is not your morality. So to conclude, I like Gab. And I understand that porn is free speech, but it's not like every other kind of free speech out there. And I understand why some people would feel a way about it. I personally would prefer to just be able to avoid it. I would think that most social media platforms and particularly Gab is already not family friendly. There's a lot of offensive content out there on it on purpose. So I don't really see why porn wouldn't be allowed there just based on the fact that there's a lot of content that's morally reprehensible, but it's still free speech. It's not an incitement to violence. It's someone just expressing their thoughts. And Gab should be careful to not alienate its supporters. I think it's a bad move for inclusivity. Yes, I'm actually using that word and I think not in a bad way. For a free speech platform, but some people will probably like it because I do think that porn is sort of having a negative effect on society for the most part. I read some stuff about, I don't know what sexual criminal it was, but some kind of criminal activity in which porn was helpful because the potential perpetrators released their sexual urges in that way instead of acting it out in real life. I know that's like a dark topic, but there could be usefulness for porn and they also use porn to help men uh, ejaculate or our like in um, for some kind of medical thing where they need the sperm and also some people use porn to bond so like couples will use it as part of foreplay so it's not always bad but in some ways it is also bad. So yeah, it's just too vague and wishy-washy. So maybe Andrew Torba should separate his personal opinion from Gab because Gab is a free speech platform. But I understood why some people would have an issue with it, even though it's technically free speech. So that's what I have to think on this topic. I hope that was educational and useful. Thank you for watching. If you like my content, please donate at justthinkingoutloud.tv slash donate. Also, please subscribe and also please share and uh, like and leave a comment and um, let me know what you think. And let me know if you want me to maybe go a bit more into some of the studies that I mentioned and I'll put a link below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye. No, I want to say that more excitedly. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye. Independently. Um, I want to say that again. That's already established independent. <laughs> I can't say this word. Independently. That's already established independently 